Hey everybody, Stacy here. Um, I had to clean up the floor in my craft room because puppy dog got in here and pooped and peed. I've been trying to keep the door shut because I know all this paper that I put on the floor to keep the paint from getting on the floor just looks like puppy pad to get. So I've been trying to uh, kind of keep that, keep the door shut, you know, and keep it out of here, but it manages its way in. Uh, it seems like it keeps happening. Um, hang on just a second. I want to add a little Payne's Gray to this blue because I've got some uh, ultramarine blue mixed up here and then I mixed up some Artist Loft uh, metallic um, metallic blue and uh, they look very much alike so I'm going to gray up one of them a little bit, add some paints gray to it, and maybe change things a little bit. Uh, anyway, they still look pretty similar, but what the hell, I tried. Uh, I mixed these kind of quick because I was wanting to get in here in my room and shut the door, to be honest. Um, I haven't had to clean up that much poop today, or pee. But that doesn't change the fact that it's very successful having a new puppy. So I decided I'd do another swipe because I was happy with that one that I did. Last time I swapped with um, Prussian Blue, um, I think this time, uh, well, let me just start by putting some color on here and then I'll make up my mind. This is the ultramarine blue. Um, um, so I don't know um, what I'm doing really. Um, I might swipe with a phthalo green uh, or I might swipe with the this uh, color shift black that I got. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I think I want to do that. Um, it'll be different. I don't, I don't recall. I haven't done a black swap in a really long time. Um, Uh, this is the, I believe this is the, um, Prussian blue that I got, but I'm having a hard time telling the difference between it and that one I just added the gray to, <laughs> so I'm not really sure what's what. Um, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll swap with that black color and see what that does. There's a white in here. I lost my, I accidentally threw away my, uh, well, it was lace underwear is what I was using this time. Um, but in order to keep my flow trial from letting those nasty things through, I always put a shield, a, like a piece of pantyhose or something over my, the opening to the flow trial. And uh, I told y'all about that because I learned that on Gina DeLuca's channel and I thought it was really smart. So I have passed that along. Anyway, um, the trick is not to throw away your little shield thing when you throw away your Floetrol bottle. And I forgot and threw mine away and then I couldn't find any more hose. Nobody wears hose anymore. So I couldn't find any more. Uh, so I found a pair of lace panties that I don't wear anymore, and um, I use those, and uh, they work fine. It's just that um, I threw them away too. So now I don't have a shield on there, and oh, the nastiest stuff tried to come through just a minute ago. I caught it. 
but it was gummy and yucky and I was really happy that I was able to catch it because it's really gross. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. I love this color, this this black. Um, it's not really black. It's more like a, a deep bronze, if you ask me. Look at that. But I think it's really cool. I think it's real pretty. Um, I don't have a whole lot of experience with color shift paints. Um, I've used them, but uh, I don't uh, don't have a whole lot of experience with them. All right, this is my parchment paper, which is my favorite thing to swipe with. Um, if you're swapping anything except Shelly Art or resin, um, the parchment paper does not work on those. But I love the way it works on a regular swipe. And I usually don't use them long ways like this for some reason. Um, but I'm gonna try it this time because it's so wasteful to do it the other way. Try to make it work. Ooh, that's really interesting with that color shift sheen on there. I like it. Uh, I'm glad y'all are here today. I'm, I'm finally feeling somewhat better. I've, I know my last videos have been just sort of, you know, I know it seems sort of go through the motions or whatever. I don't mean for it to be that way, uh, you know, it's nothing against y'all or that I don't like doing videos anymore or anything, because I, I absolutely do. In fact, it's been what a lot of times has kept me positive during this time that I've been so sick, but it has, it drains my uh, energy real bad, and, and it's hard to be, you know, this is one of the first days that I felt like talking, really, or being upbeat or, you know, chatty or anything like that. I mean, I'm never like real, you know, super upbeat and chatty. <laughs> I'm just not. Um, but, ooh, shit. That wasn't what I meant to do. Anyway, um, today is one of the first things I've, I've really felt like myself. And, um, you know, it, it has just taken a real toll. I've been just super tired and um, it zaps your immune system so everything that has come across I have caught you know every little cold every little things you, that I would normally not even mention much less complain about um, but I'm trying to get better a lot of it you know like everything is your attitude you know I, I try to be positive but um, I've had some had some hard days with it because um, it's like shingles um, but they're on my face not now but they have been and um, my arms and my legs my back pretty much everywhere um, and they're like shingle like blisters almost like fever blisters they're all akin they're all in the same kind of they're all the same type of virus just different strains and um, so they cause these horrible blisters everywhere and then this terrible fatigue and depression that comes along with it like I need any more of that you know I mean I, I deal with that anyway you know so I'm, I'm better and I'm not complaining I'm just telling y'all what's been going on um so maybe you'll understand um where I'm coming from you know and if my videos I know that they have probably suffered, you know, because I just didn't feel very good. I wanted to do them, you know, and they have helped me, and um, I love doing videos and visiting with y'all and stuff, and it's kept me sane, probably. Um, but if they've been a little lackluster, I just wanted y'all to know why. Uh, I really like this. This is really pretty. I like that black or brown, bronze. I'm not sure what it's called. I can't read the label. Print is too small for me to see. I should probably keep reading glasses with me, you know, for when that happens, but I'm too much in denial that I need them, I think. 
so I just won't carry them with me all the time and uh, I've run into situations where I can't read things pretty often one day I'll learn to cope Ooh, this is really turning out neat I think uh, I like it I'm glad I did um, I've been working on glass and debating on whether or not to do another glass video I only did a couple um, and the reason I didn't do more um, was because after I did them I realized how many of them there were out there and I was like well shit they don't need my help you know there's plenty of um, videos that you can you know look at you know for learning about glass but um, uh, this would be cool up something. I may do another one anyway, just because uh, I'm, I'm working on some other things. Um, I haven't worked on glass in a long time, but I'm working on some pieces, um, some small sun catchers and stuff. And um, so I thought that I might, uh, I might do uh, a video uh, about that. I don't know, we'll see. Somebody said they liked them. I don't remember, um, it's been a long time, but somebody said they liked one of them. <laughs> um, we'll see. I'm gonna try to bring some of this green. Let's just torch it again. I don't want to mess it up. Uh, I like adding the black and the white with my blue and green pores. Um, I used to not. Um, but I do now like it um I mean I like it both ways you know I'm really liking how that black color shift paint is mixing in and I love the way the parchment paper does a swipe um to me they're different and I really like the way they look to me they're very unusual the way the lines and the cells turn out I just really like them I think they make for a really unusual piece. And that's the parchment paper that does that, I think. So, I really like using it. I wish it would work good on resin swipes and, um, there's something. Ugh, where does that gunk come from? Maybe it came out of the flow trawl since I didn't get to strain it this time. I don't know. Just gunk, gunk, gunk. Well, I really like that uh, piece there. Let me let y'all see. I feel better. I feel better every time I do something artistic. You know, I mean, I can just be having a bad or a ho-hum kind of day. And if I can paint, do something artistic, oh, it just makes it so much better. And I think that's a really beautiful piece. Y'all will have to chime in and let me know what y'all think. Um... Look at that color shift stuff. I mean, wow. Looks like molten lava down all through there. Veins of goldish, you know, lava or something. I don't know. I like it. And I really like the way that phthalo green popped out there. It's pretty. I go back to basics, you know what I mean? We all have the Shelly Art stuff and, you know, all kinds of different ways of pouring paint over different things. And I've never been much into the Coke bottles and the strainers and all those different things. Um, I just like a regular old swipe or flip cup, you know. Um, they're, you know... Um, I'm sure those things are fun and everything. I've just never really gotten into all that. And 
maybe I should, maybe I'm limiting myself, I don't know, I'm just really happy with the traditional ones, and, 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 you know, I mean, of course, I do all the kinds of things with Shelly Art stuff, but, you know, anyway, um, I appreciate y'all being here, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon, and, um, I enjoy the chance to talk to y'all, and talk about art, and, uh, just makes life better, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, join me next time.